Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back. My name is Kelly. I own a uh, sewing and embroidery business as well as a fabric business. And today I am doing a whole bunch of, let me get that glare out of my glasses. Uh, I'm doing a whole bunch of backpacks. So that, that seems to be something that people uh, struggle with or they think it's going to be hard and it's really not. Uh, if you have the right hoops and if you kind of know what you're doing. So I thought I'd do a little quick tutorial on that, on how I'm doing all of these. Uh, this room is an absolute mess. So every single year, volleyball season coincides with uh, the Christmas rush. So I have an awesome amount of backpacks. Let's see. Uh, see all of the, oh, there's me in my pajamas again. Let me see if I can turn you around. I'm never very good at that. Um, okay, so check this out. These are all backpacks that haven't been done. And then those are some things that people have dropped off to be embroidered. I've got some uh, pillowcases to make. Oh my gosh, y'all, have you been? I don't know if this was like nationwide that they did this and if they only did it on a certain day but joanne's was giving these away for free and it's got a ball of this loopy yarn and you make a hat and you take it back and they give it to saint jude's i thought that was so fun i wish i could have gotten more but i'm probably gonna try to make this tonight um again the goal is to get these backpacks done um or at least, so, okay, so here's the deal. They, here's the logo. It's not crooked. It's just my phone is crooked. Um, here's the logo. And then there's going to be a number down here. So I've been doing these for three years. And look, there's my fabric you can get on my fabric shop. Link down below. Um, I've been doing these for about three years now. And there's been lots of lessons learned so I thought I'd kind of go over that with you guys um, in case you find yourself in a position to do some backpacks. Oh, this same lady is hats and shirts, and I am not looking forward to the hats at all. So originally she had said, when she dropped off the backpacks, she had said that she wanted me to do a few hats too. And I was like, okay, fine, great. Um, again, I've worked with this woman for three years now and she's really intense, but she's super nice. It's a great sort of, um, contract to have, uh, or not contract. I mean, we don't sign anything, but you know, she keeps coming back and that makes me feel good. Like she's happy with what she's getting. Um, but she's intense. I mean, this is her business. It's her baby. She wants everything to be exactly the way she wants it. Um, she's never been mean about anything she's just intense which can be stressful but anyway she dropped off those uh hats and originally she had said a few it's like 20 hats and y'all i'm just not um i have a hat hoop i'll do when i go to do this i'll do a video um i have the actual hat hoop that comes with my machine so it sh should be fine i just don't do enough hats and there's often some problems and she made it a point to point out which ones are expensive hats and so i mean obviously like i'll replace anything that i ruin but i you know hopefully i don't ruin anything i mean that's the goal right so anyway so i thought i'd start with the backpacks because those are actually pretty easy i mean again i think people stress out about them a little unnecessarily they're not that bad. And not only are they not that bad, but if you mess them up, they're pretty easy to like rip out stitching and redo. I mean, again, that's never an ideal situation, but um, it can be done on a backpack. Uh, so there's a story with these. Um, let me set you up on the tripod and tell you the story. Okay, so here's the story with the backpacks. So three years ago, this is a, and this is a friend's daughter place for this league, and that's how I got um, in with them, which is great. I mean, always make sure people know that you do embroidery. Um, but anyway, so 
she, at the time, I was kind of a newbie. So when she brought me the backpacks, or maybe she just showed me in a text, and she, I think the original um, backpack that she showed me had the logo up here and then like the number down here. And I thought I was smart. I said, oh, um, if you, you know, that's going to be more expensive because it's two hoopings. If you let me put the, the logo and the number together, it will be cheaper because then I just have to hoop it once. And she said, great, fine, no problem. Well then, um, and actually this year I only have 33 backpacks. Like last year, I think it was 75 or something ridiculous. I mean, it's clearly COVID is affecting everyone. Um, so, and the year before, I don't remember what it was, but it was more like 50, something like that. Anyway, um, so she brought me all of these backpacks and because I'm a newbie, I didn't think, or I was a newbie, I didn't think about the pocket. So there's a pocket right here. And so I have a hoop that fits and would fit the logo and the number. But once I would hoop it and put it on the machine, there was no room for it to move to get all of that stuff. So I have to hoop it twice. Now, I think what a lot of like pro places do is they just stitch over the, um, pocket and just, I mean I don't know do people use this pocket there's tons of pockets like do you need this pocket but again this woman's pretty intense and I just don't think that she would like that um and she's been good to work with I it's been a lot of years now I've never sewn the pocket clothes I'm not going to start this year so it's the same exact backpacks as last year I knew it was going to be that way I'm hooping them twice it just whatever but anyway, so here is what I think is the most important part about backpacks, and that's my Darky Easy Frames. I've used them a lot on this channel, um, but I just got a Mighty Hoop, and I can see that a, it's too big to do these backpacks, but I could see that if I had the right size Mighty Hoop, that would be even better. But I'm not motivated enough to get another hoop. Um, and honestly, I'm my goal, I'm sorry, my plan, my plan for next year is to um, have another machine. And so that machine will, the main focus of that machine for me will be that it um, maybe has a smaller, um, what do we call that, arm? A, a skinnier arm so I can fit things like pockets on there better um, or something that uh, something that just um, makes it easier to hoop pockets and then something that makes it easier to do hats again I love this machine this machine has been good to me it the hat hoop is better I just bought the hat hoop last year and I did some hats for this woman and they worked out okay um, but these hats that she bought this year are the really super structured, um, and I'm just not looking forward to it. The, the, um, sewing field on the hat hoop for the brother is not very big. It's a bit challenging and I'm always stressed out about getting it centered and perfect on every single hat. Um, so I think there are machines that are better for hats. Um, and I'm just, I, I'm, again, the plan is that by next year, I will be busy enough that I will need another machine. Like today, if I could be running these, um, backpacks on a different machine, then I could be doing the shirts I need to do, but I, the shirts have to wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so anyway, uh, I just stopped the video for a second because my husband uh, texted that he was going to get me a cup of coffee. So I couldn't pass that up. Uh, uh, anyway, so not going to get the Mighty Hoop for this particular project. I the, Again, I'm kind of, I've been obsessed with my Darky Easy Frames for quite some time. So they work well for this application. Um, again, is it perfect that I have to hoop it twice? Not at all. 
uh, but I've come up with kind of a really um, good uh, system of making it happen. I, like I said, have 33 backpacks. I've done at least half, I hope, this morning. So I'm going to show you how I kind of turn and burn those to make sure it goes quickly. Uh, I'm also not going to lie, sometimes this, uh, I'm just doing the logos today. I might get around to doing the numbers on some of them, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. If I can just get the logos, it will feel like a really successful day. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So sometimes I, the thing, it takes eight minutes to stitch out. So I'm not going to lie. I sometimes will start it and then like go brush my teeth or I took a shower or, um, started a load of laundry. So I haven't necessarily been sitting here all morning doing this. I That's not recommended. Um, you probably shouldn't leave your machine alone. Um, but if you're ex experienced enough, I, I shouldn't even say that because things can still go wrong. But I would probably never do it with a shirt because it's so easy to catch a shirt. And if you are in the room and you're looking, um, you can usually catch it in time. But with backpacks, whatever. Again, I don't want to seam rip anything, but if something messes up today, I can do that, and I know I can salvage the, the backpack it, itself. Um, I, I won't be leaving my hats alone or her shirts, but the backpacks, me, I got other stuff to do. So I've kind of done all of my morning routine, believe it or not, I've showered and put my pajamas back on because that's how I roll. I was going to say that earlier, like... You know, me hooping things this way is not the pro way to do it, but pros also don't get to be in their favorite room in their house wearing the pajamas watching Netflix. So, it's a trade-off. But um, anyway, I will show you how I do that. Um, and then, like I said, in a couple, if I can get these done this weekend, then she doesn't need them till next Friday. If I can get them done this weekend, then I have all week to stress out and worry about the hats. Uh, if anybody has any like awesome tips for hats, please let me know. Or a machine you love that does hats. Um, I Again, the plan is that the next machine will have more colors and be much better for hats and backpacks. Because I, I don't, hats are great money. I just don't advertise for it because they're so hard and stressful. For me, they are. Maybe they're not for you. I don't know. But anyway, all right, let's take a look at these backpacks and how I do it. I've got two frames that I uh, use for this. When I bought my Easy Frames, where's the other one? When I bought my Easy Frames, I bought like a whole set of them. So it came with the arm and then I got different sizes. Um, so these two sizes, I can use them both for the backpacks, which is great because then I can hoop one, get it on the machine. Then while that's going, I can hoop another one and have it ready to go to just pop on the machine the second the first one's done. So that makes it, um, go a little bit quicker. But I'm going to turn you around and show you how I, I hoop this. Okay, so like I said, I've been using these two hoops. My design is four inches across. Um, so they're great for this is a five by four, and this is called a radius frame. Um, I was lucky when this woman, when I got this woman's business, um, she already had the design um, digitized, and it's digitized really well. So that was nice. I didn't have to worry about doing any of that. Um, but what I do, so these have, um, sticky stabilizer on them, of course. And one of my little tricks is rather than replacing the whole piece every time, I typically on something like this, again, not necessarily a shirt, but a backpack, like probably if you had a mighty hoop, you wouldn't even need stabilizer at all on a backpack. But since we need something to hold it, um, better, we're gonna use some sticky stabilizer. Um, this is still this part is still pretty sticky, um, and I just replaced the part where I've already stitched. So I cut out strips about this big and just cover it up. Um, I usually do it like one or two times, and then I'll peel off the old um, 
And again, you know, it's nothing fancy here. And this is just the sticky stabilizer from Joann's. Um, again, for this, for backpacks, I don't think you need anything fancy. Um, or, like, I've gotten other sticky stabilizer from Amazon that's much thicker. This stuff is kind of thin, um, but it, it shouldn't matter on a back. Well, I know it doesn't matter on a backpack. I've already done, like, 20 of them today. So, put that on there. Uh, so, this hoop is ready to go. Then, on my backpack, I find the center, which, just for me, involves, you could measure, I guess. But, I just fold it in half and use my fingers. Or, this is the only, really the only marking pen I like. It's chalk. Um, although, I have used it on, like, um... What was that? Oh, it was a baby blanket. And it was, uh, so I used it, it was a light colored baby blanket. And so I used like blue chalk and I had trouble getting it off. So I try to, um, there, that's better. So, but for a backpack, white chalk, it'll come right off. I don't take it off till the very end because sometimes it just rubs off eventually. Um, but I marked that, and then I've been putting them all about a half inch down. So I've got one of these, which it's so old, a lot of the markings are on there. Um, but you can use like a regular ruler or whatever. And I just come down half an inch and mark it on my center point. Um, and so there's my, my center top. That's center top of my design. Now, I did have one backpack today that got a little out of whack on this side. Not noticeable. I mean, you'd have to get a ruler out and measure it. Um, <clears throat> and frankly, I just, people don't, even, even someone who's as hardcore as this woman, nobody cares about a quarter of an inch. So, but, so after I did that, I kind of went back and sort of, made more marks along the lot there there so that when I put it on my machine I can use my laser to um make sure the top of it <clears throat> is running straight the last one was kind of like this so I mark that then I take my hoop and let me see if I can get you closer here so I'll turn it sideways so these hoops have a little notch right here, and that's your center point. So I've been consistent on every one, and you can kind of decide on what your consistency is going to look like. But I take that center point, and I line, you know, you got to get, oh, I almost forgot. So this is our double pocket here. You're, I'm going to be stitching up above this, and this should not get in the way. However... I know that in years past, every once in a while, I would catch one. Because here's the deal. The manufacturers of these backpacks, they're not consistent either. So sometimes this pocket will be a little out of whack. And then if you're consistent, you go and nick it. Because they've not done their, you know, their stuff isn't perfect either. So I just kind of pin this out of the way. And then it's I don't have to worry about it. So I pin that out of the way, bring it down here, and I flip this out of the way and line up the center with that notch. And then stick it down, which again, I've been reusing this so much, it's not super sticky, but I have these, and these I just got at Dollar Tree, I think. And then I clip it on the side Now, this all sounds like a really labor-intensive process. It's not once you get going. I mean, again, if you have a Mighty Hoop, you're probably watching this going, well, that's too many steps, and that takes too long. But if this is what you have, and you, I mean, they're not cheap. And so if you've spent money on this, and this is what you have, then it's you, you can make it work. It's great. So I clip it on, and then... And 
see, I kind of also eyeball this. Like, do I have the same over here as over here? This all looks good. Now, you can take some more pins and pin to keep this flatter. But honestly, I haven't noticed that um, it's not giving me trouble um, if I don't do that. Um, and like, I know, like the top of my design is gonna start there. So I know I can put a pin here and I'm not gonna hit anything. Um, so then I take it over to my machine and put it on. So let's do that. Just a real quick edit, cause I'm not sure that I made it clear. But the reason why two hoops works when one hoop doesn't is because this one is too big to go into the pocket this one fits in the pocket and I can do the numbers on this one, but the logo doesn't fit. The logo is four inches wide. And so I hoop it with this one because it's wide enough and I don't have to go in the pocket. And then I use this one because it can go in the pocket and do the number. Does that make sense? All right, so I load this up and it, the first time you do it, you might think it's a little cumbersome, but it's really not. I've kind of got my camera in the way, so I'm trying not to hit you, which I just did. All right, let's back this up. Hang on. Okay, so this part goes underneath. And then let me set you down again. Well, I don't really have a sturdy... Okay. Sorry. So then this part, if you don't have, I mean, if you have these, you know how this works, but, um, so this goes up here. I honestly, I think earlier the one I had crooked was not because of how I hooped it. I think it was how I put it in the screws. I think I didn't tighten one side quite enough. So I don't know if you can see, yeah. So see my, um, red dot there. So I'm going to go over here and move my design around a little bit to where my red dot matches up with my center point. And then, like I said, you can get you a better angle there. Uh, I do the corners and I just follow it and see if it follows those lines and it does pretty well. Um, it's a bit hard to tell while I'm holding the camera, so I'll probably stop the video and double check it. But anyway, so that's how I get them hooped. Then as this one is running, which again, it takes eight minutes while that one's running, I'll go over here and I'll get this other hoop. And I'll hoop another one, and then I just it keeps going like that. Um, and then it's even quicker when I'm doing the numbers because I have several hoops that fit um, <clears throat> inside that pocket, so I can I can hoop like three or four <clears throat> and just get them going like that. And again, sometimes I run out of the room, I go. Um, shower or brush my teeth or whatever, but it's really not, I do think I'll get these done today, uh, which is <clears throat> encouraging because again, I'm going to need lots and lots of times to do those hats. But anyway, all right, that's a backpack on a jerky easy frame. If you have any questions, post them down below and I will be sure to answer them. See you later. Bye.